This is the Pulse of St. Louis. This week on the Pulse of St. Louis. Turning family fun into a call for unity. The upcoming event in St. Charles County designed to promote public safety and trust with police departments. Mr. Schmitz goes to Washington. The father of a fallen St. Louis area Marine was on Capitol Hill. The stern message he had for lawmakers about his son's death in Afghanistan. Welcome everyone to the Pulse of St. Louis. I'm Jasmine Huda. Creating a stronger and safer community. That's the mission of an event that will bring together police and residents. This is called Faith and Blue. The family-friendly event will take place Saturday, September 23rd at Morning Star Church in Darden Prairie in St. Charles County. Here to tell us about what Faith and Blue is all about, we've got several guests with us today. We've got Chief, Chief Chris DiGiuseppe with the Lake St. Louis Police Department, Pastor Keith Scarborough with the Executive Pastor at Morning Star Church, and Adam Hendricks, the founder of a nonprofit called Justin Delivers Hope. And Chief, we have two other guests here. To tell us who they are. We have uh, Officer Pat Dolan and his partner Zeke, who is uh, one of our canine officers and his canine. Okay, so this is Zeke? This is Zeke. Tell us what your canines do. What's the purpose of the canine? Um, we, so we have uh, two canines. They're dual purpose canines. They, uh, they both uh, track drugs. They can track people. And we also use them at times for apprehensions. And if you go to Faith in Blue, September 23rd, you'll get to meet Zeke. Is that right? You'll get to meet Zeke as well as many of the other canines throughout the county because it is a countywide event. We'll have a lot of the other canines from other departments that will be out also doing some uh, educational demonstrations and you'll get to meet them and uh, see how they operate. So tell us what Faith and Blue is. We've heard of different events designed to bring together police in the community, National Night Out, all great events, but what's different about this one? Well, Faith and Blue was uh, created some years back by uh, ministers, by people of faith that said that they wanted to, through ministry, bring the police and community together. Um, they recognize the importance that uh, having the community and the police on the same page is the foundation for community policing. And it is really one of the elements of success that we have in keeping, uh, keeping our community safe. What can you expect? I know we've got some footage from previous uh, Faith in Blue events. I think it was from last year. It was the first year. We can show some of that. Tell yeah. us what people can expect. It was from last year. That was our first event. Um, you can expect uh, police resources uh, throughout the county. Uh, all of our municipalities and our, our county uh, police department will be bringing out uh, a lot of our resources, our SWAT team, our bomb squad, uh, the vehicles they use, the equipment they use. Uh, we'll have the uh, forensics unit out there. We'll have uh, federal agencies. We'll be bringing the same, some equipment and such. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, just other advocates of the criminal justice uh, system, our courts. Um, and then we'll have uh, members from various faiths, different faiths and such, uh, that will be participating. And one of them is... Pastor Keith, executive pastor at Morning Star Church. People might be thrown off because they hear faith. Do I have right. to be Christian? Do I have to ascribe to a certain faith? Is faith is faith. Yeah, we're we're hoping our neighbors from every faith will be able to come and join us in this. And uh, tell us why it was important for you to be part of it. Yeah, we 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 love our community. We feel that the church should be more than just a place to come and practice our faith, but actually a place where people can come, get to know their neighbors, and uh, and get to know those who serve us. And so we do a lot of things like that just to bring the community in, and it's a community center. And this is open to everyone, is that right, yes. Chief? You don't yep. have to be live in Darden Prairie or O'Fallon right. or Lake St. Louis. Yep. I am really interested in the connection of Justin Delivers Hope. Adam Hendricks founded this organization. Can you give us a little bit of the backstory? Sure. Uh, this is in honor of our son, Justin David Hendricks, that we lost to a heroin overdose on June 2nd, 2017. And uh, we are just really struggle to find uh, what we were going to do after that loss. And uh, we started working with police departments and understood what they really needed was, uh, was canines. So that is one of our main focuses of our organization is is providing canines to local police departments. Is Zeke one of them? Zeke is one of them, yes. So tell us how this all works. You, you fundraise. We do. We fundraise uh, throughout the year, a couple events, uh, along with private donations. And we uh, the average canine is about $15,000. And if it's a new 
uh, canine program for a department is 35,000 by the time we outfit the cars and everything. And our goal was one canine a year since 2018. And in four years, we are on our 19th canine we're getting ready to fund. Wow, and these are at various departments. Yes, ma'am. Lake St. Louis Police Department, tell us how important it is to have Zeke. You know, I think it's, I think it's critical uh, to have uh, a canine in your department. Uh, it, the, uh, the opportunities that it allows us to uh, uh, impact, um, you know, the illicit narcotics and such, and uh, you know the ability to track people, and he, he's been a he's been a valuable asset and uh, just a, a good a good member of our police department. Once you get a canine, they're just they're just like family. How do so. kids uh, react when they see Zeke? If we can show, I mean, you just can't get enough of him. Everybody, every, he's I'm sort of distracted. I talked to you. He's the celebrity. Yeah, everybody everybody loves him. He's the uh, center of attention uh, pretty much everywhere we go. Interesting, uh, Pastor, you and I were talking on the phone before this, and you had said, you, 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 in a way, you do have, uh, can relate to the police departments because of your membership. Right, sure, sure. It's so nice to be able to get these guys who serve us, and they have real jobs when they're out working, but to see them behind the curtain, behind the scenes. At church. At, at the church, right. But then also in an event like this where we can bring our kids and really get to know these guys as humans, know who they are, and uh, it really is a game changer for us. Adam, talk about how this has really bolstered your mission, because you are working with the police departments in your own way, supporting them, and, and because we know the, the drug epidemic, the overdose epidemic, is not just happening in isolated parts of the country. Right. Correct, and an uh, interesting uh, uh, stat is last year we had eight dogs currently on the road, and our collective uh, departments with our canines took over 8 million lethal doses of fentanyl off the streets in St. Louis. Wow. And Chief, how, how serious of a problem is it? It's, it's a problem. Talking about it, fentanyl, it, and <clears throat> fentanyl and heroin and meth. Um, you know, it's a problem, and it's a problem in every community. There, you know, sometimes I think people that uh, aren't aware that uh, this impacts all of our communities. It doesn't matter what community you're in. Um, it uh, it traverses all boundaries, and uh, you know, we every every police department sees overdose cases, and uh, has probably seen an uptick in overdose cases, and it's uh, it just affects everything. So us uh, impacting this problem is critical, and uh, taking those millions of lethal doses off the street, it's um, it's it's a real benefit to public safety. People aren't going to be thinking of that immediately if they're attending this event. It's a family-friendly event right. uh, because another component of this event is just being able to interface right. with people. <clears throat> how, in, how helpful was it last year when you this first kicked off? I think, I think it was ex extremely helpful. Anything that we can do to educate the public um, and to bond with the public uh, as far as uh, the mission of the police departments and uh, you know, bringing us together through that thread of faith is uh, is just an asset. It's like I said. It's the foundation of community policing, and we're uh, we're not successful. Police departments aren't successful unless they have the community that backs them. And we have an example of different components of the community here. Mm -hmm. uh, Adam, this event means a lot to you. It does. Uh, it, it's our, our the one event we do a year. Our car show where we. Uh, it's more about community. Um, getting out and explaining who we are and what we do more than trying to raise money on this event. And Pastor, last word? Did, did you hear about the car show? There's also mm -hmm. going to be a car show. Oh, there. That's what I'm most excited about. Bury the about. lead, guys. Yeah, don't bury the lead. Yeah, that's going to be great. It's just a great way to bring your family together. Come on, it doesn't get any better than this. Let's all get out. Let's all get to meet each other, meet these guys who work so hard for us, and, and see them as real folks. Great. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Faith and Blue will have this information on fox2now.com, September 23rd. Straight ahead. Oh, we got to thank our canine too. We miss canine Zeke there yep. and Officer Jolin. Thanks to them. Straight ahead on the Pulse of St. Louis. Well, as you can probably tell by now, I'm done biting my tongue. I identify as a father, a husband, a f***ed off, fed up American patriot, and now thanks to this administration, a gold star dad. The father of a local Marine who lost his life during the Afghanistan evacuation went before the Congressional Foreign Relations Committee this past week. You'll hear a powerful testimony.